hey what is up happy saturday welcome to another marvel champions live stream i am really excited it took a while but i am finally back with more spdr suit spider suit trying to get through all of the aspects and with all of the heroes we are landing on <sighs> sorry i just had like a massive coughing fit right before the <laughs> right before the stream started i i drank some water and went down the wrong pipe but we are making our way through all of the heroes in all of the aspects against, against different villains trying to highlight some of their strengths point out some of their weaknesses and then create an overall tier ranking of those heroes and so we are now on spdr suit hey collect angels how's it going welcome welcome how is your weekend starting out hopefully well so we are doing that but before i I dive into all of that. I did kind of tease that there was an announcement coming to the channel and everything has all oh, well. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Yep. So that, that basically what has happened, I've already announced it in the discord, but I did um, leave my job. Um, <laughs> finally, a stream that's not in the middle of the night for you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad, it, I'm glad the timing worked out, but yeah, so I, I did uh, make the decision to go ahead and leave my job to focus on content creation for a while. Hey, Maddie, thanks for the prime or thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. You've been subscribed for four months. Awesome. Hero Spotlight. Woo. Awesome. So, yeah, so I, I did make the decision to uh, transition to content creation for two for full time for a little bit. So I'm going to be focusing on the living card gamer, my podcast, which is fantasy and some flights. I will be focusing on board ventures content, which you've seen a couple of them on this channel before. But it's been a passion of mine and something that I'm really excited about to see where it goes. And so I'm I'm pumped. It's so probably about mid August. We're going to start seeing some major changes to the channel and not in a bad way there's not going to be any less content that is for sure we will definitely be doing more maybe at more convenient times for some people and then just kind of uh expanding on what we already have built and so that's kind of my i'm, I'm really excited for it i'm really really excited for it so hopefully hopefully it all goes well but Okay, so let's talk about SPDR suit. So we already did play one of the aspects. We played leadership. Um, I can't. I don't know if that was last week or if that was two weeks ago. It's been fairly busy, but we are um, we are going to dive in with the other three today. We have protection, which we're doing first. Then we will hop into either justice or aggression, depending on what people want to see. And then, hey, uh, Yanni. It's really small. I need to move the chat. It's like being blocked by my might. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. So yeah, so we will we'll hit protection first. We are I got a request to do the Zax modular set against protection. And I don't remember if I already said it, but today we are playing against crossbones, and then we'll be swapping out one of the modular sets each time but we've got protection up first then we'll hop into either justice or aggression and then the the last one whichever people want to see so i am excited for protection so let's just dive in and try out this hero spotlight so while i'm while i'm kind of starting with the build of the the protection deck what are people's thoughts on spider suit how have what are what are what is the overall consensus because she's one that i think is a lot better at least in the two games right so i've only had two games with her so i don't have a ton of experience but she is a lot better and a lot easier to manipulate than i actually thought uh you saw uh my videos on marvel for youtube thank you awesome well happy to have you over here on twitch she is the new best hero awesome nice so, so yeah, I mean, she, she is just a ton of fun. She's very much a puzzle. She's very engine builder E if that's even a word, but I love engine builders. And so I've been having a lot more fun with her than I thought I was going to have. And her main hindrance, if you've played her before, you know, is her hand size. So in alter ego form, she has four, she has an action to get up to six, which does help. But then in hero form, she has a hand size of three and that can be very detrimental. However, 
because you can exhaust interface upgrades, which her whole kit is built around for resources, you are not strapped for cash, which does allow you to pay for things and then also um, just work out. I think leadership worked out because we ran a ton of web warriors and outlets. And I'm going to um, at least try one deck today. Maybe protection, I'm not quite sure yet. Where I'm not gonna be running a huge gambit of allies just because I don't, I, I wanna see how she fares without having consistent access to allies because she has the money to pay for them, but if she doesn't have them in her hand, that, that can be a detriment. So what happens if we are running, <laughs> we're running without a ton of allies? So I think, you know, that's what we're going to do. She came with a lot of these tech cards as long as well as some, uh, I think it's called repurpose, uh, which is a zero cost green card repurpose. And so I think that's what we're going to build our deck around today, just because it's a, it's an archetype that I really haven't di dived into, divin into, dove into, where's it hard, but this is, this is one of the cards that uh i am not completely sold on but i know a lot of other people are and they think that this card is is very very good repurposed and so i want to play a couple of games and i guess like my <laughs> like i'm saying i'm not sold on it i've never even played it so i guess i don't really have that much room to speak but we are going to try kind of the repurpose build for the protection for the protection so with that, we're going to go ahead and run three copies. The main thing about SPDR, or I guess like really any um, hero, is consistency. And the higher hand size you have, the more consistency you have if you vary your cards in your deck. But if you have a hand size of three, you have to kind of stick to one thing to become consistent or else you're not going to have what you need to put onto the table at the right time. You kind of want to build a rocket raccoon deck with that yes i think rocket is the biggest benefiter of repurpose maybe um maybe maybe iron man but i think rocket is really solid because sometimes you don't want to roll down in rocket to activate his whatever his ability is where you can draw two cards to discard it whereas you can repurpose it you can get pretty good and also what i like is it's until the end of the round and so you do have the ability to uh to ready yourself and we've seen a lot of cards in protection that allow you to ready like what doesn't kill me ever vigilant and a couple of these other cards that allow you to ready so you can get multiple activations out of it and so if you toss a energy barrier that's a plus two to your attack if you can ready yourself once then it's actually a plus four to your attack and then that gets kind of interesting so okay so let's uh let's grab repurpose Go right there. Okay, so that's three of our cards. Um, we'll grab money. Well, actually, no, we're not gonna run money. We're gonna try. We're gonna try running without any of the doubles because, again, consistency is key here. And if you draw three doubles, you're not. So let, let's see if we can work in a double later. But let's not just dive in and absolutely do it but what i do want to do is i want to grab limitless stamina we'll run two copies of that that says actually we're going to run three because limitless stamina and repurpose has a really good um really uh, works really well together hey trap it how's it going happy saturday welcome to the weekend so limitless stamina is a new card that was printed in the in this pack actually that says you can only play this if you have 14 printed hit points or more and it says ready your hero and so repurpose allows you to discard plus two to your attack or thwart or whatever ready and then continue to take advantage of that so let's go ahead and just grab three copies of that because also spdr just likes to be ready anyways so she's got a couple of there it is <clears throat> So trap it. We are we're doing green first, and we are going against Zex like you requested. So let's see how it goes. Um, we're gonna grab one copy of Unshakable. It is nice to have Crossbones doesn't have a ton of stun and confuse, and so we'll we'll grab one copy and hopefully draw into it. If we don't, we don't. 
which is another <clears throat> cop or card that was printed in this pack uh play only if you have 14 hit points or more and then you gain steady meaning that you need two cards of um two two stunned or two confused tokens to be stunned or confused okay um my mind is kind of all over the place right i want to go grab the tech upgrades to uh figure out how to you know use free purpose effectively but i'm also thinking about readies right because i want to ready with the repurpose and so because of that we also want to grab uh peter parker peter parker is going to allow us to ready and spdr has a pretty easy time playing him Ladies, man, SPDR back in the house. Good morning, Marvel Champs. How is it going? Go ahead to see it, ladies, man. Um, so Spider-Man allows you to get that ready and continue to activate and, and push through and get more activations out of a repurpose turn. <clears throat> so that's really nice. Um, we'll look at allies again later, but the last thing I want to grab is what doesn't kill me. Because what we will be doing here is we're probably not going to be doing a whole lot of defending or trying to keep our defense up, you know, super high. And so what doesn't kill me does have a cost to heal to damage. And I think we will be taking a lot of damage. Uh, you have the combo with the cards. Very good. Spider tingle and return the, a favor. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I love that combo. That's it. That's an excellent combo. Uh, so return the favor, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until you discard a treachery. Reveal that uh, treachery and deal five damage to the villain. And then Spider Tingle is an upgrade there. You can deal a damage to yourself and cancel the next treachery. Uh, uh, that that next treachery revealed. And so those work so well. That's an excellent combo. Let's see if we have space for it. I did run that combo in the Spider Ham Hero Spotlight. Um, I think we will probably find space for it in here because because that is just a ton of fun but let me let me get my text so we're gonna grow energy barriers so i am really happy that we got more energy barriers so energy barrier was a card that we only had three copies of now we have <clears throat> um now we have more of those hey carol kai happy pride day well month but today is the parade awesome cool well, happy Pride, everyone. Energy Barrier is probably one of my favorite cards in the entire game. I don't think it's one of the best cards in the game, but it is one of my favorite just because of the versatility that it provides. So when you take any amount of damage, remove one counter from here, prevent one of that damage, and then deal one damage. And then this is a target for our repurpose. And so we can toss this to give us plus two to some stuff. Let's see where that puts us. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten. So we'll we'll count that as ten. And we got three cards. And so we still have twelve spots. So we still have a good amount of spots um, to to go in. Which probably means Thwip Thwip is pretty good actually. Um, Thwip Thwip is fun. That's two static or two stun tokens. Uh, did an energy barrier put in the work in your Iron Man? Oh yeah, energy barrier in that Iron Man deck is very sweet. And also, force field generator is a um, is a card that will maybe make it into my Iron Man deck. Repurpose definitely will make it into the Iron Man deck. I have not really t tinkered with it too much since this pack came out. But force field generator says it uses six energy counters max one per player which is a little bit tougher but whenever you would take any amount of damage remove that many energy counters from here and then prevent one of that damage so i don't know if i like this card <laughs> and the reason being is med team is i think better um so med team is slower right so force field generator prevents damage med team heals damage med team also allows you to heal damage from allies though uh two generators with spdr that's what i was thinking especially with the repurpose um but like i force field generator feels just a little yeah generator is the tech. generator is the tech and that that's why um 
it, it does work a little bit better but just like if you're not running a repurposed build if you're gonna put generator in you might as well put med demon that, that's kind of my thought um i guess there is something to be said that you can prevent six from one attack to like not die which is also nice but it's, it's like one of my my things that like force field generator also may work in iron man right because he wants the tech cards but we'll, we'll go ahead and throw two of them in here just to get an epic repurpose turn okay so there's 15 cards so we need 10 more and i guess like where's my damage coming from and i think we want to take a look at actually hold on before we do that i want to do uh oh, shoot jocasta's defensive event not a green event i was gonna say jocasta if she could go pull a she could go pull a repurpose that'd be great i think generator is good because it's six health right now and not six health after you hopefully survive and, and yeah and that, that's totally fair that's totally fair i feel like silk goes in any web warrior deck now any green web warrior deck it says after you play silk from your hand search the deck for an encounter card and discard it that can just get you out of a lot of sticky situations what are some of my other cards so daredevil defends against an attack i don't love that spider-man uh stunning confusing enemy if you control at least three web warrior cards that may be a little hard with this deck as it's built right now spider-man noir um is just kind of fun i feel like victor mancha is always pretty sweet to have in there spider uk is just cool too maybe iron fist the other thing that i was thinking ladies man it's interesting how force field is a force response no matter what you yeah yeah and you don't get a you don't get a choice you don't get a choice that that's i would consider another downside um i think so has anyone run lockjaw in in SPDR. So I feel like Lockjaw is not a bad card to throw in here at all. So where is Lockjaw? Where is Lockjaw? Oh, he's right there. So Lockjaw, you can play Lockjaw from your discard pile by paying its cost. And you have more resources than you do cards with with spdr and so i feel like lockjaw may may make a good spot in this deck just to allow that flexibility and figure out if you really need them i'm gonna throw them in here just to see what happens um see if there are any other i feel like ghost spider S i can't play spdr but i feel like ghost spider is always a good go grab a hero specific event that's always solid um, what does my ally count look like now? We got three, four with Venom, five. Okay, so right there, which like we're not we're not doing a defend build, so we can run more allies with this protection build if we wanted to. I love Hoppy Brown. Oh yeah, no auto, <laughs> auto is incredible. So Otto says that after you play Spider-Man from your hand, this Spider-Man, uh, ready and upgraded control. If that upgrade has a tech trait, draw one card. That card should go in every single SPDR deck. Great with discarding the new Aunt May. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you just throw them in your in your uh, discard pile. Yeah, very good call. So two, four, six, eight, nine. One more card. One more card. Okay. I do stacks of ten. Okay. So I think I think I'm, I'm, I am interested in running the return the favor combo because that that is a little uh, that that's where my damage is. Of course, auto. Yeah, <laughs> I need to get into the habit of building decks auto include auto include <laughs> that's great you have to get in the habit of building decks i i love building decks and like you'll build decks and they won't work and you'll have fun and it'll and you build another deck and it'll be awesome and you'll have fun it's 
auto include god that is so bad and hilarious all at the same time um so return the favor and flip flip nope not maybe flip flip but uh spider tingle you need more card knowledge dude one of the one of the things that helped me um so much we're gonna throw a symbiote suit in there because that sounds fun. One of the things that helped me so much with uh, with building decks was just going on Marvel CDB, playing decks that people have built, and then like messing with them. And now it works really well because you can go on Marvel CDB and find decks that are old, that are really highly rated, and then with some of your newer packs, because if it was built in 2021, right, we have 300 more cards that we can play with now and just try and mess with it a little bit and it gives you a really good baseline and then can kind of help you know find some things that can really work with it all and so that that that's that's kind of how i learned um okay so we have got twenty four um Maybe another one more return the favor. I think I feel like one more return the or actually maybe Spider-Man Noir. I feel like Spider-Man Noir because we're we are grabbing a ton of encounter cards. Um. Yeah, we're gonna run Spider-Man Noir because I feel like that could synergize fairly well. Um. With with it all, because we've got the ability to go grab encounter cards with uh, Symbiote Suit with uh return the favor or whatever that card is um yeah return the favor and so i feel like we'll be resolving a good amount of treachery cards uh which also makes me want to kind of run uh get behind me oh no hmm okay get behind me i feel like probably is a good card it's also we don't have a ton of tax, but that's fine. We'll run with it. We'll see what happens. I have to thank you for always reading the chat statements. For those of us who have to watch on YouTube, it helps. Oh, good. <laughs> of course. Um, it takes time to know the cards. Yeah, it really does. There, there are so many cards in this game, and it's... <laughs> it's kind of funny because the way that I can help remember the cards is um, like because I open one pack at a time and I'm doing the same thing with Lord of the Rings. So like I feel like I have up until, you know, the, the first Hobbit box in Lord of the Rings, right? I, I have a fairly good understanding of what cards there are because I'm only limiting myself and then I learn the cards as they come out. Whereas like Arkham Horror, I open like an entire cycle. It's like I don't I could not name any of the cards in Arkham Horror. What about Spider uh, Moke? Where is Spider Moke? See green. <laughs> Here I, it's like, oh yeah, I know all the cards, and then I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Spider Moke. I need to learn an aspect at a time. That's another really good way to do it. That's another good way to do it. Um, spider. Spider Moke. I, I am drawing a blank on what Spider Moke is. Is that an ally? Is that a... I guess a weapon like the Destiny wouldn't be horrible in this deck either. Yep. Two, three four five eh, yeah you should probably definitely run level like nor oh yeah um running nor yeah two four two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty two four five uh I do want level life and destiny in here, um, especially with the card draw. 
Could go without Unshakable. I don't think I need Unshakable in this deck. Okay, we're going to toss Unshakable and run. You like Spider Tingle? Uh, I like Spider Tingle when it's paired with Return the Favor. Um, so discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until you discard a treachery reveal that treachery and then if you combine that with the spider tingle when you would reveal an encounter card so you know it's a treachery you can cancel it and just deal five damage for like the one cost so i like that i also really like spider tingle in spider ham right because you deal a damage to yourself and then you can get a get money right the other thing is is that this is an interrupt not a force interrupt um so when you uh, you discard the card and then you would reveal it, so you know what's coming, and so you don't have to activate it if you don't. Um, Spider Tingle does not combo with Generator. Oh, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, the Hobby, the Hobby Brown. Okay. Uh, yeah, Hobby Brown is good. I don't yeah that's dumb i don't like i don't like the force interrupt on that generator um but what we're saying is that spider tingle because you would have to deal a damage to a web warrior card you control you would have to deal it to an ally so you you can't deal it to yourself if you have force field generator on the table that's just that that is just something that we will look out for um i'm gonna toss one spider tingle we're gonna run one spider tingle and web will like That'll be our Javi Brown. I like Javi Brown. He does a lot of damage. Um, I'm starting to think that we may not need damage in this deck. We could. We have a lot of allies too. <laughs> um, we'll toss a limitless stamina for a Javi Brown. And this is one of the things I don't love about having like just such an epic basic kit for for uh, web warriors is that it feels like most of your deck is already built. It's Hobie, not Hobby. Okay, Hobie Brown. That looks like Hobby. I feel like Hobby. I feel like that that looks like Hobby, but it's Hobie. Okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I was pronouncing it wrong. Uh, Yanchi. Or Yanni. Um, I like Javi and Leadership to keep uh, recouping and Tingle and Spider Ham. Yeah. Dude, recoup and... Or, yeah, Spider Tingle and Spider Ham is, is dirty. That card was printed for him. Okay, sweet. Alrighty, so we have got Crossbones coming in hot we are running with the zach's modular set um or zat i don't know how to say it <laughs> is it is, is it pronounced yanni <laughs> i just want to make sure i'm calling you the right the right thing <laughs> I, and, and i kick that works <laughs> i i have the hardest time with words like Lewis, Yanni. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, no, I, I just have the hardest time with the English language or any language in that for that matter. But Louis. Oh, okay. Louis. Lazy man. <laughs> yep. I'll never forget that. It's not ladies, man. It's lazy, man. And in my defense, which is absolutely just a excuse and not really a valid one, is that it's very small over here. And that's what I, that's my excuse. And I, I don't have a better one. 
Louis, Louis, English is a bad language. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's, oh shoot, I shuffled my nemesis in here. Yeah, English is a, just like, does not make any sense as a language. <laughs> you put web, yeah, I, I threw web of life and destiny in there. I, I cut a limitless stamina for a web of life and destiny. English is so dumb. <laughs> it really is. Like, there's so many stupid rules. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, sweet. Okay. I am super pumped to play some Marvel Champions. Miles Protection? I did not. I did not throw a Miles Protection version in there. Um, It probably made sense to do so. But I didn't. <laughs> I... Honestly, probably what the better play is here is to run Lockjaw in like non-yellow or green. Um, oh no, you're fine. Uh, non-yellow or green, because you have so many web warriors in those Injustice and Protection, and so you run Lockjaw in those other ones. But I, I really did want to run Lockjaw. Um, I don't have six hand size. I have four hand size. So Penny Parker starts out, she has four hand size, hit points of 14. She puts spider suit onto the table, which is a permanent. Uh, when I flip to this side, then I can, uh, then I, I flip both of these and then it's a weird puzzle thing. And then the, uh, as a, I can exhaust spider suit to draw two cards as an alter ego action. Uh, how do we dick? Get Dick from Richard or Bill from Willie William, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Crossbones, we coming for you. I think twenty minutes. You finish every body puts the bets. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got a what doesn't kill me. I don't need that. We've got a force field generator, which I don't need that. We've got a repurpose. I don't need that. We got an energy barrier, which I do like. The reason I don't want a force field generator is I can't really pay for it. Um, and I really wanted to mulligan pretty hard into uh, getting some of these interface because I didn't see any of them. And so honestly, I may just toss this energy barrier just so I can guarantee myself seeing one of those interface. And I think that's what I will do. <laughs> OG Irish. <laughs> Neve. Okay, we'll, we'll just, we'll toss all three of, or all four of these cards. We'll just mulligan hard into an ejection protocol. A Spider-Man Noir, a Spider-Man Hobby Brown, and a Rapid Deployment. Okay, that's, uh, we have not seen any interface. Ugh. Let's go ahead and exhaust the Spider Suit to draw two cards. We've got Silk, and we've got Spider Tingle. Still no interfaces. Oh, yeah, shoot. Um, reveal the top card of the Experimental Weapons deck. Forgot, have to do all of this. So Attack on Mountain Athena does, tr does push when we get three and i so it's like i can't really i could just um i may just stay in alter ego to, to because i don't have any interfaces i don't have any tutors for interfaces yeah ah or also yeah nothing nothing so it's like i think i just sacrificed attack on mount athena and hope for the best. <laughs> I, I think I remember to put it in there. <laughs> I put all of them in there. It's 40 cards, so either that or we're going to get some exciting new cards coming out. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, hmm. If I don't flip up, I can't play Hobby. We'll toss a Rapid Deployment Spider-Man and Ejection Protocol for Spider-Man Noir. Spider-Man Noir will come into play at a 0-0. And then we will... I can't play Silk. I really wanted to play Silk. Um, we'll toss Silk for a Spider Tangle. <laughs> she Chevron. That that no, you can't tell me that that's that's correct. 
<laughs> eat crossbones assert spider dominance yes 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 <laughs> Alrighty, so that's that we'll draw up to four limitless stamina does not help us ant-man uncle ben does force field oh my goodness okay i am actually gonna look one two three yep they're all in there but <laughs> you have me questioning myself <laughs> We got Ant-Man, Uncle Ben, which is nice. Spider-Man auto does not really help all that much, but here we are. Okay, so we'll place one threat here on the main scheme. Crossbones will scheme for one plus one, which will push. Sir, uh, reveal the top card of the experimental weapons deck. This one I can spend a mental and a physical to discard this card. And then the exosuit, I can spend one of each resource to discard the current turn. I don't believe the worst turn on Spider. Yeah, well, to be fair, the first two games that I played, I had, like, the best turns ever. And so... Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to reveal this, which is uh, the, the game Surge. I cannot trigger Spider-Man Noir because I don't have another Web Warrior card. So, that's too bad. So, Surge is into Raid the Armory in Sight 1. So, this says 2 on it because it starts with 1. When reveal, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a weapon attachment is discarded and reveal that card. Not a good start, y'all. Not a good start. Oh my gosh. Why am I discarding so many cards? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh, combat knife. There we go. Oh my goodness. I just discarded two... 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 cards. Ouch. Okay, so now, now he's swinging for a cool 3. Scheming for 2. Whenever he attacks and damages, I do uh, discard a card from my hand. It, I mean, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Okay, back to my turn. We will exhaust Spider Suit to draw 2 cards. We've got a limitless stamina and hey, a wet fluid compressor. There we go. My first interface. Okay. So at that point, we will go ahead and flip up to spider suit. Okay. Now let's see what we've got. Um, actually, hold up. Hold up. Before I do that, before I do that, I'm going to toss one limitless stamina for an Ant-Man Uncle Ben. And then while I was in alter ego form, I'm going to do this. So it's going to be discard one, two, three, and I put all systems go into my hand. Okay. The ramp is coming. Okay, so we've got, let's see, let's exhaust SPDR and toss a I don't want to get force field generators on the table just to get rid or just to not need to worry about the power gauntlets. Um, or I could just toss the power gauntlets. Uh, SPDR plus a. Force field generator for a web fluid compressor. Um, we'll exhaust web fluid compressor to play all systems go to go search for, um, I can't play host spider, so I don't want to grab that. I'm thinking about grabbing speed metal alloy. I need a... Yeah, speed metal alloy, and then I can get rid of power gauntlets. Okay, so we'll grab speed metal alloy. Don't forget to get rid of his weapons. Ah! Ah! Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of power gauntlets this turn. I just needed a little bit of time to, uh, to build. And so we'll take speed metal alloy into our hand. Then we will toss a limitless stamina to put a speed metal alloy onto the table. 
we will exhaust speed metal alloy and toss a spider-man auto um to to get rid of power gauntlets i think there pro there was probably a better play to play spider-man but here we are okay so that will we're ready everybody now i may need some marvel champions don't worry, he got that interface upgrade is done. Yeah. Now we have a three hand size symbiote suit. That's terrifying. <laughs> Web trap and Spider Man. Okay. Ooh, I like Spider Man here. I do have a pay for it, so so that's probably what we're gonna do. We'll throw one here, so we're at three out of six. And then Crossbones is gonna swing at us for three plus a boost card. We got fourteen. We're just gonna take it to the face. It's plus one, so that's gonna be four, taking us down to ten. So we're good there. And then our card is Treachery. Give the villain a tough status card. And then we will uh, attach that Treachery face down here. So Spider-Man Noir has a plus one. Okay. Here we go. Let's Ant-Man Uncle Ben. So we'll discard two cards. We got an energy barrier and a energy barrier. That is not what we wanted to see. Let's go ahead and spider suit, web fluid compressor, speed metal alloy. Um actually no. Uh not speed metal alloy, but toss a symbiote suit for a Spider-Man. So I paid one of each resources, including two wilds, and then after I attack or thwart, choose another Web Warrior character, and I get to ready that character. And so what we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to attack to knock this tough off. We will have Spider-Man thwart two off of the main. And then he will take a damage. We will ready Spider Suit. We will toss a, or we will exhaust. Oh no, that's not. I didn't. I didn't do the math right there. Oops. Oh. I don't know why I thought that was gonna work. Um. Okay. Uh. We will have. Okay. Hmm. We will hit crossbones for two, taking him down to 10. We're going to toss web trap. So we're ready. SPDR command, ghost spider, return the favor. Only three cards. Can't need to not just continue to draw forever. So we'll place one here. Crossbones is going to attack us for three plus a boost card. I think at this point, what do we got? We got. We will defend with plus two attack or plus two defense. So we got four defense coming in at three plus one. So take no damage. Um. We will reveal an encounter card. We will trigger this effect. So we will take one damage. Um, we will reveal. It is a treachery, so we cancel the win reveal effects. But we do insight one. And then we resolved the treachery, right? So Spider-Man Noir gets it. Spider-Man Noir is up to a 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> yeah, the hand size is crazy. And so it's like, oh no, I don't have anything to do. Okay, so coming back in, we will Ant-Man Uncle Ben. Got all systems go and rapid deployment. Okay, that's that's really nice. Um, we don't need rapid deployment, but we do like an all systems go. And we've got three out of our five. And so honestly, we may...
Okay, so let's go ahead and web fluid compressor to put SPDR command. So exhaust uh, SPDR command and an interface upgrade to draw one card or exhaust this command and discard one card from your hand and then ready an interface upgrade. Okay, so Spider-Man will go ahead and thwart two off of the main scheme, which will ready up spider suit. Then we have got a spider to play all systems go to ready each interface upgrade that we control. So there we go. There's that. Um, we will toss a, we will exhaust speed metal, metal alloy. And that's a physical, we need a mental, which is going to be rapid deployment to get rid of combat knife. Try to get ghost host spider. Oh, that is true. I probably should have tried to get host spider. Um, but, okay. Spider suit, web fluid compressor and return the favor for ghost spider. So Ghost Spider will go ahead and swing it at crossbones for two. Spider Suit will swing it at crossbones for two. And we're going to leave Spider-Man Noir out there. I feel like he's going to be our AD carry today. So he's down to six. We're not doing too bad. No damage on Ghost Spider. Repurpose. There's Host Spider. And all systems go. That's, that's really nice right there. That's really, really nice. Okay. So all systems go can be played with a repurpose in two, so I can defend. Sweet. Nice go. <laughs> okay, so we got two here. Crossbones is going to swing at us for uh, two plus a boost card. We will go ahead and defend with a speed metal alloy. And so that's going to be uh, plus two. So I take zero damage because four comes into four. And then we've got a... Bad card, which is a minion, a Hydra Soldier with guard. So we're going to go ahead and throw a guard token here. And then whenever I defeat him, I have to deal myself an engagement or an encounter card. So boo, 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 boo. Um, okay. Let's see what Ant Man Uncle Ben yields us. So we've got a Lockjaw and a Web of Life and Destiny. That was not super exciting. Wanted to see that Web of Life and Destiny before we start killing off some of these here. But, okay, so we've got a web fluid compressor and a SPDR for a, and a repurpose for a host spider. Host spider says that I can exhaust host spider to ready spider suit, which we will uh, go ahead and exhaust host spider to play in all systems go, which readies each interface upgrade I control. Okay, I will exhaust SPDR command and speed metal alloy to draw a card which is what doesn't kill me which is actually really nice here really really nice here okay um i am so like this character they make this character with so satisf such satisfaction this character is a lot of fun right i I'm, I'm not quite sure where she is on the power level of things i i think i need to run through a couple of expert games with her I think standard, she's like A to S tier. Expert, maybe not, because you don't have as much time to like mess or to like fix everything. And so, so we do have a what doesn't kill me, which could, I could get rid of the exosuit, but really the exosuit isn't doing too much for me right now. Um, so let's go ahead and just thwart two here. Spider-Man will die, but that's fine because we're about to shuffle our deck. Um, we're ready spider suit spider suit will swing to deal two here and Then ghost spider will do the next two to take out the hydra soldier and then we deal ourselves an encounter card We will ready host or exhaust host spider to ready spider suit spider su Spider suit will swing for two against crossbones um, 
we will exhaust spider web fluid compressor for a what doesn't kill me which will ready heal me two and then i will swing for two on crossbones taking him down to two that sets us up really nice to try and push next turn i don't think we we probably won't be able to do the 16 damage that's required but we don't have to spend too much time while he's in form two um spider-man noir is going to hang out so we'll go here hopefully yeah we will we will shuffle our deck which means that we can trigger ghost spider on on her exit to grab probably like uh whatever that card is that deals five damage because we just want to try and push at this point okay so three we get another encounter card this is not going to be good this is not going to be good <laughs> um Heroic mode. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, honestly, we can have... Well, we don't We don't really need... We're at 11 health, so we can We can just tank a hit. Yeah, we'll just... Yeah. Okay. Health is a resource. Okay, so there's Psychic Link. And, hey, we have a Web Trap in our hand and Venom. Ooh. Uh, a 5-5 five five Venom sounds fairly fun. I feel like a 5-5 five five Venom sounds pretty good. Um... And then Ghost Spider can grab an all systems go. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. Let's do that. Well, let's see what happens. We got one here. Crossbones is going to hit us for two plus a boost. We're just going to take it right to the face. Uh, if you have at least uh, two energy resources in our hand, which we do. No. <laughs> Put Zax into play engaged with us. <laughs> I have three cards. I have three cards. <laughs> Dang it, trap it. Uh, so Zach gets plus X attack and X hit points where X is equal to the total number of lightning uh, resources on the cards the engaged player controls. So it doesn't say printed, so that is wild as well. So this is one, two, three, four, five, five. Ouch. So he's a, he's a seven he's a seven attack right now. So so that's not great. That's not great. I don't love that. Um, I did take two damage. And then Zax is going to attack me for seven. We will just have Ghost Spider very much tank that hit. Um, so seven, Ghost Spider dies. And then when she leaves play, search your deck for an identity specific card, which I believe is gonna be an all systems go and add it to our hand. Wish I had web of life and destiny. Okay, now we've got three encounter cards coming our way. The first one being a concussion grenade. Uh, you are stunned. Don't love that. Uh, deal one damage to your hero. Two damage if you're already stunned. So one more damage. Hey, we got the machine gun, which is actually kind of nice because we won't have to go search for him. So this comes in. It has some counters and does bad things for us. Oh, this is a treachery. So we have to put that there. You are stunned? Stunning! <laughs> I think this is not your day, right? Right? Um, Crossbones Machine Gun comes in with two damage counters. And then we've got a Haywire, attached to identity. Treat the printed resources of each card in your hand as if it were lightning. And hero action, choose to either discard a card you control with a printed lightning resource or take two indirect damage to discard this card. Gross. Okay. I don't know if that really matters at this point. So I think what we are going to try and do right now is push as very fast as we possibly can. Okay, so let's see what Ant Man Uncle Ben gets us. We got a rapid deployment and a lock. Ooh, lockjaw in the discard pile. I do like that. Um, let's swing to knock the stun off. We'll host spider to ready, and then we will swing, hit crossbones. So when revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for Crossbones Machine Gun and attach it to. Perfect. So we've already got it. Haywire feels like it's something good for Captain Marvel. Yeah, very much. Yeah, hey, Captain Marvel and Haywire are BFFs. Crossbones comes in with 14 hit points. So we're going to take him up to 14, just like that already. Okay. Um...
Okay. So let's do some math here. So we want to go spider and web fluid compressor for a web trap. So deal five damage to an enemy. If you pay for this card using the SPDR suit sync ratio, stun that enemy. So we'll deal it to the villain. So one, two, three, four, five, and throw a stun onto crossbones. Oh, I have not been doing exosuit when he damages me. Dang it. Oh wait, no, no, never mind. No, I got rid of that one. Ha ha, ha ha. I played myself. I played myself. Um, <laughs> that's just the plus one. Okay. Yep. So dealt five damage. He is now stunned. He's down to nine, which I think means we have kill. Um, so let's go ahead and speed metal, metal alloy. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's uh, speed metal alloy for toss a rapid deployment for a psychic link. And then we will exhaust psychic link to play in all systems go to ready each interface I control. Um, we will exhaust speed metal alloy, web fluid compressor, SPDR and psychic link to put in venom as a five, five venom. So Venom will swing for five, one, two, three, four, five. Spider-Man Noir will swing for three, one, two, three. And then we will exhaust host spider to ready spider and then swing for two. There's the game. Hey, and that is excellent timing. So that because this is the song that's at the end of all of my videos and it just came up on shuffle and I just finished. I love how that just happened. That is, <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, Sorry about lurking. I was playing Black Widow for the first time. Very interesting character to say the least. <laughs> no worry about lurking, of course. Black Widow is super cool. Black Widow changes the play style significantly and made me realize um, it's, she, she's, she's, she's very fun. I really enjoy Black Widow. Can't play me if I play myself. <laughs> you get to worry the best hero. Yeah. So Spider-Man Noir is, is, is pretty interesting. I, I think Spider-Man Noir is a little bit better than I gave him credit for being a 3-3. Three, three, I mean, mainly like, right, you get three thwart and protection, which is really solid. Really, really solid. Okay, so that was protection. Um, If you can, like, the fact that I was able to basically not see an interface for the first, like, turn and a half or two turns and still hand, I mean, this is standard. And still handle it like fairly easily. S Spider's pretty good. Spider's really good. Alrighty, so what do we what do we want to try next? We got aggression or justice. Go ahead and throw that in the chat. I'm gonna go to the be right back screen. We will uh, I'm gonna clean up a little bit, but let me know if you have a preference in the chat. If not, then we will just go to whatever. Alrighty, see you in a sec. <laughs> Thank you. 